This video is all about black magic rock. Black Magic Raw was announced one year back, uh, 2018, September 14, and it was released as a beta version for Asa Mini Pro. Later, they have introduced Black Magic Raw in Pocket 4K, 6K, and as well as in Black Magic Asa Broadcast. Black Magic Raw is now a year old, and it has a lot of developments. For example, uh, Black Magic Raw has its own player, which supports now Windows as well as Mac. You can download it as a free, and you can play back your Black Magic Raw files. Black Magic Raw is very powerful in DaVinci Resolve in terms of playback of a higher quality. Why Black Magic Raw? Black Magic Design was using a format called Cinema DNG. So it is a file based format which means for every one second it's going to be 24 files. Uh, and if you're going to shoot in 50 frames or 60 frames it is going to be uh, 60 files per second. So which means if you're going to shoot for 10 seconds maybe and it is going to be around 300 files and uh, the major problem is the quality is the quality was very high but the storage was equally high so that was a that was a, a problem faced by blackmagic design and its user they were complaining about the file size which the camera was producing so they introduced this uh, uh, black magic raw in uh, cinema dng for example you want to when you are copying files from your uh, storage cards to your system it's going to take a lot of time so for example for 10 seconds it is 300 frames and if you're going to record for one minute or something like that it's going to be around 24,000 files or something like that there is around 70 percentage probability that any maybe one or two files may go missing uh, while you copying process so uh, which becomes 90% not usable footage. This happens by an accident. Although Damage uh, Resolve was having a checksum process which will check each and every file and copy and uh, paste it into your hard drive. And again, it was a very uh, high time expensive uh, method. So customers were uh, complaining about the high storage and uh, the, the file management stuff. So Blackmagic Design had a solution and they were working for two years and brought out Blackmagic RAW. So this has an extension of B RAW. So Blackmagic RAW is a very high quality file. In the same time, you can play a 4K or a 6K file in a normal laptop. It is like uh, it is like every all the files are baked into a single file and you all you have all the camera metadata. For example you are shooting in a high uh, daylight and your uh, sky goes blown up still the black magic raw has the data inside that uh, file and you can go to davinci resolve you can decrease your iso you can recover the highlights so you have various different yeah. using black magic raw you can do also you can also do onset editing and the, these raw files are supported in premiere pro and avid and DaVinci Resolve for editing and grading purposes. There are different flavors in uh, Blackmagic Raw. So I'll just go through some of the flavors. There is uh, two major flavors and which there are more than more subcategories inside it. So we have constant quality and constant bitrate. Constant quality is where it will define the quality. It will keep the quality in the first place and the file size in the second place. So you are always in higher in quality. And constant bitrate is it will keep your uh, uh, bitrate your, or your file size in the first place and the quality with respect to that. So it will de define your uh, file size and it will collect whatever the information you are giving up to that file size. So there are two types of uh, uh, methods in Blackmagic RAW. In constant quality, there are two flavors Q0 and Q5. In constant bitrate, there are four flavors. 3 is to 1, 5 is to 1, 8 is to 1 and 12 is to 1. Black Magic Raw Palette in Color Grading. So what are the things we can do? So basically at first you can change your uh, uh, ISO, you can have your highlight recovered, you can have your highlight contrast, uh, color temperature, you can change your color temperature in post production. So those things, these are the basic things you can change and you can recover. And if you see in this particular video that while shooting there is no there is no sky details, it is completely blown up. But 
you, you still have the detail in that magic crop. So you bring it into the color grading page and you can play out with the black magic crop palette and you get back those details. And you, those details are still present. Personally, I love uh, black magic crop because it is easily playable in my laptop and it is flexible also. Earlier, it was cinema TNG, it was totally uh, high in file size, the quality also was high, the workflow also was high and it also required a lot of processing power in the system. But this Blackmagic RAW has reduced all those stuff. Your file size is smaller and uh, your playback uh, performance is super and it is normal and you don't need a high-end workstation to workflow, uh, high-end workstation to work with this. So it seamlessly goes in any kind of machine. Even a two-core machine runs Blackmagic RAW okay in a smoother way.